So we are uh, discussing about the web services, right? So let me open the project last time what we created the project. So there we created just we discussed the sample and after that we created a project. So for that now, today, first of all, while loading this project, we will check one sample API. So that is, uh, last time I already shown this uh, postman, right? So in the postman here, I have an API. So that API we will see. First today, we will concentrate on a registration using an retrofit. Means the web services uh, we can do in two ways. One is the using web services and, uh, sorry, retrofit. And other is the, other is volume. Uh, so first we are concentrating on retrofit because 60% of the people in industry are using this retrofit. So that's the reason we are uh, discussing first with the retrofit. So here in a retrofit, now here I opened this link. Let me open still, it is opening. Wait, once it is open, we will see here now. So this is the API we are using. So today that registration using raw data. This is the API. So here this is a URL. So in this request here we have username, password, and email. So now first we will design our user interface using using material design. Means here we need total three edit text. One is the password and email and submit button. So these four parameters we need in a single way. So for that here now, what I will do here is now, here I'll come to here, and then here I'll uh, add here a relative layout. So in a relative layout, I'm designing the user interface. So that's the reason I'm removing this constraint layout so in the constraint layout, I'm updating that relative layout, right? So the relative layout has updated. So for this, here I'm removing this. So here the text I'm changing as, so registered here. Just I'm saying the register here. So this, I want exactly the center of the page. So for the reason, I'm taking inner as a linear layout. So that is match parent, wrap content, and uh, some margin. I'll take some margin that is 10 dp and uh, orientation. So for this, I'm taking the orientation as vertical, right? Then this particular layout I'm taking as the center of the page. So for that, the central horizontal and central vertical both are I'm taking as the true. So both I'm taking as the true. It is created here the now. Here now I'm creating like this. Done. So this is scale center of the page. But for this, now I want to assign one more that is a card view. So this is also one of the material effect. Card view means it will create some 3D effect on the view. So for that I'm taking as a save. So some margin I'll take. So margin by dp. So this card view uh, I'll close. After this linear layout, right here, I'm closing the card. Now, so uh, then what we have to do, this too, we have to give for the card view. Because it uh, has to align a center, right? Done. Now here, we will give here the next step. So after this text view, now we want to give the material UI. So for this material UI, you want to give material UI here. In this, now I'll take this as uh, here, material IO. So this is the official website for the Android. So here from the material, you can get a lot of things. Okay, game icon. So material, material design for Android. You can search like material design for Android. So we will open the official website for the material. So this is the, this is official, like m2.material.io is the official website. 
So here we have a lot of components here. See, web, Android, device, and cutter. So various components we can get. So from here now, I suppose to get uh, edit text, right? So here now, I'll search for the edit text. So edit text. I'm searching here as it means many components are space on that I'm searching it. So this is the component edit text, text slide. Now just search here. So from here now, there are different kinds of edit text. Here. First, we will see in a design. So in a design, how that is here. First edit text should be, one edit text should be like this with background, one edit text should be like this background. So there are two types of edit text is there, are that we will use one of them. So you want to use the go to implementation. So once you go to implementation, every year we will get the code. So this is the text input layout. So this is the edit text here. So what is the style of this? See here, uh, edit text field and this theming. So there are three types of here. One I'm going with outline. So like this, I want to use this kind of. So for that, this is the code. Like copy this. Okay, I have copied this. Then you can go here and you can paste the one edit text has created. Right. Like similar, we want two. Right. Total three edit text is required. Right. So we paste the total three edit text. So the last one, which is here, this is the password. So I'm taking a password. So, hint, I'm taking this as the password, right? Password. So, even ID also, we are taking as the password. That is REG password. So, REG password. REG password, right? Registration password. Okay. Then, also here we will give some margin. Margin. DP. So the last text I set it here. So for this email. So second one is email. So here I'm giving that as email. Email here. Uh, I'm giving that as the REG email. REG email. Right. Next year. So Martin. That is PyDP. Next year, next year I'll give that, uh, this is the username. So username and uh, here we can give this as the user, right. So here our UI is almost ready, right. Using the material design, we are designing links, right. Now we need a button, right? So for the button here again here, see this is the buttons here. Such here it is available. So just clicking on the button. So there are uh, here also there are different types of buttons are available, like full button this this button. So to go to implementation, so in implementation here we will see here outline button, contain button. So we need contain. So I want like this kind of button. So for that button here, now I'm taking this. It's a normal button, contain. Right. So the contain button here, I'll take and I'll paste after this edit text. Done. So this contain button, I'm changing the text as so that we have to add as the registration. Right. So that I have to register. So here now, I add as register, right? So this I'm changing as a match parent. Then we will give some margin. So that is set. Right. Now this is the UI is ready, right? So even for this text, we also will align center. So that is the how to align the center. So we can give it layout to gravity center. Done. Right. So this is the UI is red. Now, so for this, we will enable the data byte. 
so how to enable the data point so to enable the data point so layout right so we'll add the layout here so we will close this end of the page right here so the data binding has added so now we will add the dependency here on a gradle here gradle here I'm adding here after Kotlin option. So that is the data binding enable equal to let us sync this. So once this is done, we will add this. So once this dependency has done, here we will add the next step. So that is the bar binding. So our binding colon, so that is activity main binding. So activity main binding equal to nullify condition. Right here, we will add that binding equal to data binding util dot set condition. So here, yeah, we will add this. Yeah. So let's create this one. Then we can go to the next step. So until we get the uh, uh, data binding has import the gradual as things, so we cannot import this. That's the reason I'm waiting for that. Yeah, now we will import this. So data binding has been imported. So now here, we will add the listener for the button. Because once user has clicked on the button, then only we will perform that. So that is the username we given as a register. So right, that is button ID register. So set update. So once you click on click listener here, it's done. Right now we have to collect the data. So first one is the username equal to, so that is binding dot. So this is the username 
dot. So here, one thing extra we have to add, whenever we use a material design, directly we cannot get the data. We used to add that user edit text dot get text. Now we can get to text inputs. text that is dot full string. So like next var user email equal to, so that is binding dot. So that is the uh, register email dot edit text edit text dot so text dot to string so even we will do one more thing that is the trim also will do better because if any spaces uh, front and back will come so this trim will register next where user pass so user password equal to Binding dot. So that is the uh, user password dot. Edit text dot to string dot text dot to string dot string. So done. Now Google now it's actually it will start from the retrofit. But to write retrofit code, so there we need total three dependencies. So those three dependencies we will copy from here. So for that here, now I'm opening the retrofit uh, example here. So that from there just we will copy the dependencies. That is a gradle dependencies we will capture. So for that we need total these three dependencies. One is the retrofit, other is the GSM, next is the JSON retrofit and uh, JSON to JSON connector. So total three dependencies that we will add here in here. So here we will add those dependencies. Right now let us think this. First one is the retrofit. Second is the sorry retrofit is that is a converter JSON to JSON converter. Next is the retrofit. Last is the JSON. So here the, uh, this retrofit will read the data in the form of JSON. That's the reason here we are accessing like this right now it is done you can see once it is done then we will start the retrofit like seven to eight steps the retrofit code will be completed so that we will see here now what we are going to write so up to certain level we will write here today then we will continue then so this is done so here first of all the first step here retrofit so step one here now I'm taking the data, whatever the data here it is, that I want to take into one JSON object format. So for that now, I'm writing that var JSON object, so JSON object equal to, so that is here, I'm writing that JSON object, right, JSON object. Then here now, JSON object dot, JSON object dot put. So we are adding that put. So here, E comma, value so he here we will get so he will get from the api so this is from api from api and value from the value from this is from xml xml right that we will get so to our understandable just i write that line i'm commenting that now in next line we will write actual thing so json object dot put so here's the first key. So key we will copy from there. First of all, I want to pass here user name. So whatever the user name, so that user name I'm writing for this. Next, JSON object dot put. So this is the email. We will capture this email. So I'm writing that user email. Next. So JSON object dot put. So that is uh, here. Next is the user password. So user password is one. Right, this thing. But for this, where is the keys? So the keys we can get from here. So this, these are the keys. So username. So this is for username. Within the basis, you need to write. Next is the email. So email. This is the email. And the next is the password. So this is the password. Right, total we had it. Then next. So once this is done here, now 
we are say, step two. So step two is the declaration of this. So that is var retrofit. So that is the var retrofit equal to retrofit dot. So I'm writing that retrofit. So we already imported that, right? That we will see a retrofit. Retrofit dot. So that is builder, retrofit builder. We have to add the retrofit builder. Dot. So retrofit builder dot. So here base URL. So we want to add the base URL. So within a base URL, we will write some part of URL that I'll explain you what we are going to write. Then better we will import this retrofit so that uh, the next step will auto generate here. So I'm importing the retrofit here. Then after that here, add converter factory. Means whatever the request we are taking that we are adding into converter factory. So that is JSON converter factory. So JSON. JSON converter factory. Add converter factory that is so it is not generating, it should generate automatically. So that is G for converter factory. Is and converter factory dot create. So we have to create a here is and converter factory. So this we have to import. Is and converter factory we have to import. Then finally, dot build. So this we are building the step step to be built here. But what is the base URL here? So this is the complete URL, right? Within this complete URL, up to certain level, for every API, there is a common. So that we will treat as the base URL for that reason. Till API, this is the API folder. So till that, I have taken as the base URL and remaining part of that is the next URL, right? Now here, step three. So in a step three, now here I supposed to write where, like I have to create one interface. So that I'm creating in a retro, something retro interface. So I have created an interface. So what is that based on abo retrofit? What is the declaration we have done? So based on that, I have to create that. Right? That is retrofit dot create. So I'm creating an interface. So that is here. So this is common for the entire project. So I am creating that is a sample project interface. So I am creating that is a sample project interface like dot dot class dot job. Right. I have created this like this. Right. Now with this name, so sample PL sample. So with this name, I am creating one interface. So like here new. Kotlin class. Here you have to select an interface. So then you have to add this interface. Right. I have created an interface. Now here, this is the step four here we are writing. So in this step four, what we are writing here, first of all, we are including the headers. Whatever the headers we want to add in a project. So that headers we are including. So that is here. So that we have to write here. Content underscore type. So we are adding the content type column that is application slash JSON. So application JSON we are adding this interface. Next year that is the post. So data this is the post request right that's the reason we are using the post. So here remaining part of the URL. So what is the remaining part of the URL like we have copied the URL right so Still, this uh, test we have used there, right? After that, what is that? Register.php. That is the remaining part of the URL. So, that we have to use for this. Remaining part of the URL. Right. This we have to import the post. Then, next step here, I'm creating one function that is this we are using for the create user, right? So, I'm using that is the create user. So, that is at the rate body. So at the rate body, so that is JSON object. 
So within a JSON object, we are sending. So that is here. Again, we are calling here the response. So the call. So here call. So here we have to write. Here we are. I'm creating one register response. So I'm creating one new class called register response. So here this we have to import here. See while importing here, you need to take care that you have to import only the retrofit related. So that because call has many functions like style. So then copy this. Here you can create one more class that is Java. I'm creating initially with that is the Java class. I'm creating the Java class. Why I tell you? Because this response I have to generate automatically here. So this is the so here first we have to check this API. So in this API, I'm checking this now. So this is the success case. Right here we are getting the success case. So the success case, I copy this success case and I'll go to browser. So in a browser, I'm using that one tool called that is JSON schema to post. Here I'll paste here that and here you can select here JSON and JSON. Then scroll down here, generate a preview. See this preview class has created, copy this, go back and here you can paste within this class. Right, so we have pasted that, but here the, the, this example, it is already here. Now we can delete that. So this is also, we need to delete. So this, this is the class it is generated, done. Import, import, done. What the hell, import, done. Then now, this we will convert into Kotlin. So select all, control A, control shift, alt K, control shift, alt K, this class has converted into the Kotlin, right? Kotlin has converted. Right. So then back to main activity. So in the main activity, we will write the next steps here. So what are the next steps here in the main activity that we will write here? So this is the fourth and here this is the fifth, right? Now we have to write here step six. So Step six, we have to write here. So for that uh, step six here, now, what happened here, why this is doing here? Okay, here this phrase has missed, sorry. Right. So step six here now, uh, we have to create one uh, call. So that is a uh, register, register call. Something I have to create a call. So to call success, that uh, calling register call, that is the, uh, Color call. So this is with reference of which class register response. So that we have to call here. Right. Now this we have to import here also while importing to import that as the retrofit. Right, it is good. Then next step here. Now uh, step seven. Right, step seven. Here we have to add one var. So whatever that data here we are capturing, that is uh, there in the JSON object. So that uh, we have to convert into JSON object. So that's the reason here I'm using JSON parser. So using JSON parser, I'm converting the data into JSON format. So that is here, parse. So within a this now, so what is the JSON object we are capturing above? So that I'm converting into string. That is outside, that is as JSON object. Means this we are converting from JSON object to JSON object. Now step eight. So step eight, this we are passing this value to the uh, class. That is uh, with reference of the response here, we are creating right register call. So the register call, where register call, the above register call, here I'm calling that. So that is. Uh, register call equal to, so register call equal to, here what we have to call this register call equal to retro interface, whatever interface we created. So retro interface dot. So here, what is the user we created? Create user. So in this, we are passing this X, Y, Z data. So that data here we are passing. So why is showing the Register. 
let's check this. We'll check here. Step nine. This is the last step here. So with reference of this register call dot nq method. So nq method we have created. So in nq method, this is the final. In this method, we will get that uh, success case and failure case both will be retrofit dot. So that is the callback method. So we have to call back. So what is the callback method with, with reference of this is the register response, right? With reference of the register response, we are calling this. So here, you. Then here now, on, here within this, there are two methods. One is the on success and on failure. On response, this is the success case. So next, um, next is the here on failure. So on failure. So now this is here. So just we'll see this error and uh, we will call that uh, in next bar, which is called conflicting. Just it is uh, already some predefined method as there are the same, so it is conflicting that. So, it is. So. Right here also again we declared where that is a reason to. Now it is fine. So this we will add here uh, success and failure message and we will run in next field. So here like simply here I'll write that first uh, for the negative one. So always normally negative one we will add the toast. So in case any failures will come to so that here we will write. So for that here make text. This at the rate main activity. So here. Whatever the exception it will come, so that I'm adding the toast. Then toast that length long. Finally, the option. Done. So next step we will add it. We will see it next. 